Another selection mode is Funk Selection here. We select one of this sphere, for example, this sphere. Oh no, this sphere. <clears throat> Going to the edge mode, the Funk Brick Selection here, the Funk Brick Selection is work just for edges. As you can see, we have nothing to select because we have to Funk Brick Selection. As I said in the previous lessons, for example, going to the selection and double click for loop selection. Double click. And double click here and hold on shift to double click again. Shift. As I said before in the previous lesson, going to the mesh menu and here in the normal we have something called brick fun shading. As you can see, if you brick the fine, I teach the fine with all of it sitting in a previous lesson, refer to them, please do not repeat them. If you render, you can see a brick font here. You can see the different shading. This tool is for making a sharp edge in a smooth model for some purposes. Okay. If you have a font brick shading like this in your model, you can go in back and select font brick selection. And if you, uh, uh, click that as you can as you can see a blue or a purple line will be appear on the edge of the model and it shows you that we have three loop line that has funk brick and you can simply holding shift and select on or you can simply go into sitting and select all overwrite funk tag if you go in here this uh, sphere has its own Funk angle and it's this uh, tools overwrite that funk tag here. For example, we have this number, what the tag we have 14, it overwrite that in this angle. And you use edge bricks, you can see them, you can select all, and you can set that selection that I explained in the previous lesson how to use the selection tag and function. Another usage of the fine brick selection is in these two uh, objects. For example, in this object, I have a, <clears throat> as you can see, when you select that, when we are in this tool, as you know, we are in a, uh, as you can see, all of the uh, edge that are brick will be in a purple or a dark blue, I think. As you can see, this line uh, will not select, this night uh, don't select because another usage or benefit of the funk brick selection is in this model. As you can see, we have this model that it has a lot of short angles and I want to select all of these sharp edges and make the bevel on them. As you can see, we have a brick funk here because <clears throat> uh, for example if you go into the cube and go into the model mode as you can see if you increase its funk angle as you can see it turns to the smooth object because it does not concern any bricks here and now when you turn down the funk angle we have the brick shape here in some cases we have we need a smooth in this specific model we need a brick angle here okay for selecting that brick funk going to the line and simply clicking on funk bricks uh, selection as you can see all of the line that has a funk brick or a sharp edge all will be selected and show as a purple line or dark blue line and you can simply go into the option and select all. Why does not this line be select? Because it, as you can see, it has no any brick. It's smooth and flat. But all of these edges are uh, brick fine in them. And after that, you can set selection here to store your selection or right click and simply bevel them. For example, with the subdivision, I will be teach you the bevel. It's very huge. 
and you can simply bevel all of your outline edge with this tool as you can see so you can simply select all of the edge that has a fong brick or a sharp edge with this tool hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release